phase one. As to be expected, my legs were a bit jelly like, that's fine. But I came out at one point, I don't know, I don't know what happened, just completely came off the track. But even still, the guy behind me didn't manage to catch me up, so that's good news. Hopefully, for the rest of the stages, it means I won't feel so pressured. Oh, yes. Dos. Uno, stop. These two folks. Come on, look further. Look further. Come on, look further. Look further. Whoa. Stage two in the bag. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Pretty fast. Just gotta keep looking further ahead. Gotta keep looking further ahead. So I don't get distracted by what's right in front of me. Uh, keep losing the wheel, front wheel. I have to be careful for that, but we've got a long transition now, so I'm gonna take the camera off and the chin off and take it easy. Some nasty climbs, gotta push a bike as well for a bit. So see you on stage three. Top of stage three, first uh, food stop. Getting filled up on bananas and fruit and, and water. So this is the um, this is the showman's stage. This is where they got all the jumps and the doubles right at the beginning. So there's a big crowd up here. Gonna just have to be very calm on this. Make sure I get down, okay? Um, speaking of which, a shout out to Pau who I met this morning. He was uh, training here yesterday and had an off, so he's not racing today. So get better soon, man. That was great <laughs> after the jumps. I took the first one, which I didn't take yesterday, so that was a bit scary. Paced the back, wheel a bit, but took them all. And the last one, I don't know why, it took me by surprise for some reason. Didn't realize it was there or whatever, I don't know. I had to roll it. I could hear the crowds going, whoa, 
Oh, I don't know how I got away with that, but I did. And then after that, it was pretty fast, so I was lucky. Tres, dos, uno, hop. <coughs> Stage four done, got a mouthful of dates. I'm not going to apologize. That was awesome. It was a slow start because it was um, flat, off camber, and then a little bit of up. But once it started going down, got technical, I had a blast. That was really good. I really enjoyed that. Felt good, felt fast. I'm starting to see a pattern where I'm uh, losing time. I'll talk more about that later. Up to the final stage now, stage five. Tres. <clears throat> Final stage, stage five. You have to be careful here. If you saw yesterday's training video for that, it had nothing to do with that run then. Wow! So that's it, all five stages. That last stage, which is actually one of the ones I was more worried about, uh, felt fantastic. I felt really strong and really fast on that, which is a nice feeling to have, especially on the last stage of the race. One near off on the biggest double <laughs> of the entire race but as you know jumping is part of my plans for this year so hopefully that won't be an issue further down the road hey guys so as you can see i'm back home again now the race is done and dusted and this time i didn't make a podium surprise or otherwise um, in actual fact i came 15th out of 34 riders which even though i think was to be expected this time around because it was the first in a national series, so the, all the top riders are here. Where this is typically the first race of the year for the for the serious riders, the teams, etc. Um, but even still, I, I think I was disappointed after getting that third place at that local race. Um, obviously, it, it gave me too much uh, hope, shall we say, for for a better result. But I can say that um, my personal race was just under 20 minutes all the time stages and I was 30 seconds off the top 10 so I think I would like to aim for top 10 this year I think that would be my goal it'd be nice to be able to get into that top 10 that would be very cool but um, it was a great race I really uh, I really enjoyed the trails there I really, really enjoyed the descents uh, barring the first which was just basically pedaling 
The descents were fast. They were spicy enough to make them exciting that you had to focus. I was actually very surprised with myself on the on the third stage with the jumps and they were all gaps except for that last one which you would have seen. So yeah, so that was um I felt pretty good about that. It gave me a bit more confidence on the jumps. But as I mentioned earlier, I think I'm starting to see a pattern already with regards to my racing and my perhaps stronger areas and weaker areas. The weaker area being the pedal sections. I just find that I don't have the strength for the sprints and I think I feel that I'm losing out on a lot of time on those sprint sections because I was actually watching some of the riders at the beginning of stage four, which was a very flat uh, sprint start. And I could see the other riders going out just straight out of the door. They were flat out. And while I felt like I was putting down power, I think I was I was pretty slow. Once it starts, once gravity starts taking over and it becomes a bit more technical, I feel I'm, you know, I'm OK that I can also sort of hold my own. So I think I definitely need to work on those sprints and getting a bit more overall strength and power in the legs, which is funny because, you know, I thought I'd need to work on upper body strength and everything, which as well I have to. But so, yeah, it was a good first race. No accidents, no offs. Going to try and continue the rest of the series. I think there are five legs in the Indorama uh, race series this year. In theory, the next one is going to be in a couple of weeks and very close by here, but it might be cancelled. They might be having problems with permissions from the local council. So we'll just have to see what happens. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Another race video. If you did, give it a thumbs up like. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, hit that subscribe button to see more videos. And it would be awesome if you could share this video with your friends as well. Get more people seeing the channel, get more people watching. That would be fantastic. Have a great day, guys. Cheers. See you next time. Hasta la próxima.